Hello everyone, and welcome back to our universe. Today we'll be talking about galaxies. So in this video I'm going to be talking about galaxies, and types of galaxies, and what kind of stars are found within these galaxies. Let's jump right in, and talk about galaxies. How many times did I say galaxies? The most beautiful type of galaxy is the spiral galaxy. Their long twisting arms are areas where stars are being formed. But where do the spirals come from? Well, like ripples in a pond, the spiral arms are seen as kind of circling waves in the water. And these waves are where new stars are formed. These type of galaxies are like star factories. Spiral galaxies have a lot of material, like dust and gas, so they can actually create and coalesce stars very easily. But what causes them to glow? Well basically, some of the new stars that are created within the waves are very large. And because of the size of the larger stars, they shine brighter than the smaller stars. And this causes the nearby dust clouds to glow brightly. This basically means that anything near the waves glows like a fluorescent light. In other words, we can't actually see the waves within the galaxy, but we can see the structure of the spiral arms. This is because of the glowing clouds illuminated by the large hot stars. So why doesn't the whole galaxy shine very brightly? The large bright stars that are created within the waves don't actually live very long. Their large size makes them burn through their fuel very quickly. And usually they die before they can ever leave the waves. And it's only the smaller type stars that don't glow so brightly that actually survive long enough that they actually leave their waves that they were once formed in. And of course, the most famous of spiral galaxies is the Milky Way, our very own galaxy. A beautiful and delicate spiral galaxy. The Milky Way is a barred spiral galaxy. This means that there is a bar in the middle instead of an actual central bulge. And it has a supermassive black hole, like most of the other galaxies in the universe, at the center. The Milky Way is definitely my favorite galaxy. The stars found in elliptical galaxies are often very old. This is because elliptical galaxies don't actually create new stars. And the only stars that are found within these galaxies were created a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Although these are usually smaller, these galaxies can be very, very large. Most of them have only a few thousand stars, but some have billions, if not trillions of stars, and can be some of the biggest galaxies in the universe. The stars in an elliptical galaxy are often very close together, making the center look like one giant star, but obviously it's not one giant star. And if the Earth were inside an elliptical galaxy, it would be bright both day and night. So this basically means people who struggle to get to sleep during the day wouldn't like living in one of these galaxies. Elliptical galaxies can be so large that it can actually dwarf our galaxy. For example, this is IC 1101, and it is 1 billion light years away from Earth. And it is the largest known galaxy in the universe. And as you can see by the image, our galaxy is, I think, the smallest one on the left, and that is Andromeda on the right. And that is IC 1101. Irregular galaxies are simply all of the other galaxies that are not spiral or elliptical. That's basically it. They can basically look like anything and have many different characteristics. Many irregular galaxies probably used to be spiral or elliptical. And this could be the case until it was involved in an accident with another galaxy. Maybe crashing into it or possibly being gravitationally influenced by it. Many other irregular shaped galaxies probably never evolved into spiral or elliptical shapes. The evolution of the universe just had different plans. Irregular galaxies can actually be classified as dwarf galaxies as well. For example, the two Magellanic clouds that orbit our galaxy. 
and these are actually being slowly ripped apart by our galaxy. And this is probably given both clouds a kind of irregular type look, and this is probably given off by the gravitational influence of the Milky Way galaxy. There are billions of galaxies in our universe. Most of these are clumped together in small groups. Our own galaxy, which is called the Milky Way, lies within a group of galaxies that is called the local group. The local group consists of about 30 galaxies. And the three largest galaxies are the Andromeda Galaxy, our own Milky Way Galaxy, and the Triangulum Galaxy. For a group of galaxies, the local group is pretty condensed. So you can usually see all of these galaxies in the night sky using a moderately big telescope. So, I hope that's given you a great insight into galaxies and the types of galaxies and how they formed and how the stars interact with one another and how galaxies interact as well. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.